Welcome back to Let's Play Guardians Crusade. We're in, what's this place called? Den Aldar, Den Harbor, something of the sort? I don't know, we're on the west coast of a continent, way over there, where apparently people are being kidnapped, people are being taken away, they're disappearing into the tower just to the north. You can see the yellow dot there. I did a little bit of grinding off screen, which got me up to 31, Spoo up to 29. I found something somewhere that suggested you be level... You be level 31, Spoo be level 30 by this point. So I'm a little bit behind where that suggested, but I think we'll be all right. In order to grind, I went up to, and this is exceptionally dangerous, but it's something you can do. I just went up to the ice continent in the northeast. It's You can loop off the left side of the map and come back on the right side, so it's actually not that far a jaunt. But I went up there and grinded, where all the enemies are crazy high level. Pretty much every fight will get you a level. So that's a thing. Um, it's very easily, very easy to get overwhelmed and wrecked, though. Now, one issue I was having before was being overleveled for dungeons, which in turn would mean I'm overleveled for a boss. But you kind of need to be overleveled, or needed to be overleveled for a dungeon, so the enemies ran away. Because the fights were so taxing that you simply couldn't kill that many enemies in one sitting, and especially not do that, and then be ready for a boss. If I had any intention of actually exploring and looking around that dungeon and making it to the end, there's no way I could do it. Without resting and going back to a hotel or something, and by this point in the game... Crap, your problem. By this point in the game, that's actually changed somewhat. Uh, we've got a lot more longevity in battles and the ability to heal ourselves. Each fight isn't nearly as taxing as it was before, to the point now that we can actually go in not only at a lower level, because uh, level ups are also not nearly as important as they were before. So you can not only go in at a lower level and the fights aren't that much easier, but on top of that, you can get into more fights now without needing to go back. So we're in here and there's some enemies. What do you guys do? We're looking for the missing people though. Uh, I'm just gonna melee, it's just one dude. Melee, you see what happens. Oh, a couple other things that I was informed by the comments... ...was this much I, this much I knew before, and this is actually not something the comments told me specifically. But um, just telling Spoo what to do... ...helps your relationship with him. And so he's more likely to follow your command and end up not being kind of a jerk. Giving him presents and everything does uh, does do it as well. Um, Spoo being killed will also will lower your relationship, and losing fights or running away from fights will also lower. Oh man, a ring of calm. So that's that. Um, another thing you can do is, in feeding him thing, give him snacks, I have a, an extra peach potion. You can have. Prevents confusion! That's nice. But another thing you can do on top of feeding him is, you can actually feed him armor and weapons. I got a crystal sword which is most certainly going to be worse than what I have. So you can feed him not only things like hamburgers and cheeseburgers, but you can feed him weapons and armor. In fact, feeding him regular items will raise his HP, 
raising or giving him weapons will raise his offense and then giving him armor will raise his defense. So that's how I'm going to be getting rid of excess armor now. Because I forgot about that. I can't tell where I'm going! That's just sort of a dead end, okay. Um, this bottom floor is... I guess you could say kind of a 4x4. Four four. There's four of these tiny rooms. Tough wall! Tough wall is very useful. Where are you? Protects one as a shield. Um, I forget how many turns it lasts, but like, I get into a fight, I use that on Spoo. Spoo just doesn't get hurt. Okay, back in the main hallway here. Heading down this way will take us right back to the start. So it's kind of like a two by two of these big rooms, like this. A little stuff in them. Downer. Why you gotta be such a Debbie Downer? Good for debuffing dudes. I feel like that main aisle in the front needs to be bigger. Like, this one's three. Can that one in front be three? Or four? Devil's Shield. Also, probably worse than what I got. Yes, it is. So, hey, Spoo. Go ahead and eat this. If he can just eat armor is worrisome. I think that's about it for this bottom floor. How you doing? You're just gonna be the same guy? No, you're not. Big Roach. Eh, I'll just punch him. That is a very large Roach. Yeah, go ahead and attack. Do the thing, Spoo. Also, don't get, like... Don't get wrecked, I guess. You know, I'm gonna keep telling you. Keep at it. You keep doing that thing. For the most part, I'm gonna try to do that every turn while I'm grinding, but I'm not gonna try to do it every turn here, because that's going to get tiresome for you guys quick. Anything else? Not that I see. Just a big old staircase. This was a big tower, though, looking at it from outside. So perhaps everyone is held at the top. We didn't see anybody down at the bottom. What was it that guy in town said, though, that we had to pay? Something about a secret passage that only opens if you've explored the entire tower. Hmm. Yep, that's a whole lot of not much up here. A couple items you can find, though. Splint mail. That is not what I wanted to do. Still worse than what I have. Hey, Spoo! Get that defense up. Vegas. Something about a roulette, I assume? Slot machine-esque. I think only those two items were up there on the top. 
We've fully explored the tower, though, so unless we can find something further down, that's gonna be it. You know, it was the top of that thing was, like, almost up in the clouds, but, like, we're not that far up, are we? A couple, three, four floors, maybe? I mean, I guess, yeah, I mean, we're getting up there. I mean, we're not certainly not in the clouds. Ah! I'm gonna get you! I can't see... Gonna walk into a guy, cause I can't see a thing. Yeah, I'm going this way. Usually they're pretty good about making it so you can see what's what, but they're... I don't know, they're not doing much of that seeing here. Oh, hey! I know! I know that yellow thing! How are you doing? Well, we did startle them, though. Yeah, we heard you guys were coming in here, but, like, you've been gone for three days or something ridiculous. Sure did. Well, that, that's what happens when you're gone for, like, three days without word. Into a tower. It's not even that big. I've only been in here for, like, ten minutes. Okay, they're going ahead, but I saw a chest over here. Moss Man! Anything over here? Not that I see. Moss Man, Moss Man! Lowers one's offensive power. Got a, I got a big old bottom lip on you there. Carmine. Didn't Dark Beat say something about Carmine before? You got it! I like how before he did say as much as, like, don't get in the way. It's like, okay, you're here, just don't get in the way. But then, like, he's still willing to accept our help and work with us, though. So he's not just like, yeah, I'm big and bad, what? I like him, he's alright. I mean, maybe he could use a... a chill pill, but... I think he's alright. So many cool people! A lot of cool people in this world. Got Dark Beat, got... Big old Soldier Dude. Soldier McDooderson. Kalkanor! Oh, thank goodness. So many cool people, and they're all, like, super strong and stuff, and, like, I don't know, maybe they have a slightly different, slightly conflicting opinions on things, but, like, I don't know, they're all right. Let's heal up Spoo. I'm gonna use the Downer on him here next turn, too. If I'd gone into this at full health, I could have used it this turn and just wrecked. Jet punch! I like that wind up, man. Six his foot up in the air like he's gonna throw a baseball or something. Downer. Where are you? Viral dust. I hope that did something. Mm. 
missile gun. That's terrifying. Or we're good, gonna wreck ya. Yeah! That wasn't so bad. How you doing with yours, Dark Beat? Den Hildar, that's the name of the town we were in. Man, you don't even care about the people, you just want the money. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, but... Of course, they're thanking us now, because we're the only ones sticking around for it. Oh yeah, we got the mayor back. Hmm. Tri Wait, Triskin? We haven't even- we haven't been to a Triskin yet. I don't remember if that's where our boat was going or not. Oh man, that guy's going. There's still a guy in there, though, and Darkbeat just ran off before he heard about it. We gotta go save him. We gotta go save a guy. Oh. Well, the crap is the guy doing walking into this. Gotta not be dumb, dude. I don't know. Maybe? Oh dear. I guess the other guy wasn't worried. Wasn't worthy. So we just broke his legs. Okay. This boss fight! The previous one was pretty alright. This one is gonna be a fight. He's got a fair amount more HP than the previous guy, and I'm pretty sure he hits harder, too. So, be prepared, because this fight's going to be a bit more intense than last time. I wonder if this effect stacks. Okay, we're doing alright so far, though. I've got a little bit less HP than Spoo, which is actually pretty good, because I should be... Ow. Oh, never mind. Party a little. Yeah, let's go with that one. I've got more powerful healing spells, but I think they all heal a percentage of your HP. So, I feel like using the other one would be kind of overkill. It's like when you absolutely need healed right now. I think we're good for a turn. Thank you for hitting me for once. Oh man, Pixie Dust, Nahani's helping! Yeah! You're alright, Nahani. I like you, you can stay. Okay, Pyro's still doing his thing. Yeah! Are we worthy now, you piece of crap? Ooh. Solomon's Ring. No, I want to know! I want to know the thing! What does it do? What do fairies use it for? Why you, of all people? Like, Kalkanor sent you here, why a watchmaker? I 
I don't know about you sometimes, Kalkanor. We did the thing, though, and now we got Solomon's Ring. Which is... Actually, it's not equipable. It's a key item. Alright. I'm sure it'll never amount to anything. Okay, you know what? I've got the... Go back to entrance. 